Good night, good evening chocolate lovers, welcome to uh, Chocolate TV episode number 60 I think it is. Is it? Yes? Yes it is. Uh, it's the 16th of May, it's uh, 2011 and uh, I've got two chocolate sticks to try. It's from a German manufacturer called uh, Heilemann and one is milk chocolate with a champagne uh, truffle inside and it's 33% cocoa and the other one is uh, their uh, dark chocolate stick 85% cocoa 85% in a chocolate stick not bad and let's get to it just taste some chocolate don't I have a nice hobby tasting chocolate on Monday evenings Champagne truffles inside this one. It has almost a champagne like quality on the color. 33% uh, cocoa, uh, quite white for being 33% cocoa. Uh, the milk chocolate is very light, and uh, that's maybe because of the champagne truffle inside. I don't know. Uh, let's uh, see if it has any scent of oh, champagne, for instance. Uh, it got more a scent of uh, actually pineapple juice, sweet uh, artificial pineapple juice actually. Make chocolate, sugar, yeah, but most of all pineapple juice, lots of it. Interesting nose. Uh, let's try it. Very thin chocolate skin. White filling. Actually, I can't feel the chocolate more than it's a little bit of fudge, a little bit of so sugar, soccer in Swedish, I almost said that, sugar. The ch champagne truffle filling is more like a heated mixture of Actually, some white pepper, some sugar, some um, egg, almost eggnog. It this is going to give me a heartburn if I eat all this one. Extremely lot of heartburn feeling. <clears throat> Just towards the end, I get the pineapple um, taste that it actually smells like. It's not champagne smell. I have had a few champagnes in my life, just one a couple of weeks ago. This is not how champagne smells. The smell is much better than the taste. This was actually uh, quite gruesome experience. Uh, I've given this one a, a 2 out of 10. And let's move on to the 85%. 85% cocoa. Uh, almost, actually almost pitch black. It, in color. Uh, so I guess this is a Forresteros bean, uh, the dark uh, black uh, bitter chocolate bean. 85% it's high, it's usually kind of soapy and uh, almost clings to your palate and to your uh, insides of your mouth. But let's sniff it first. Yeah, sort of a typical dark chocolate smell. A little bit of cedar box, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of dark chocolate, naturally. And also a, a spicy note. 
I would say cumin and pepper, white pepper. But mostly uh, a woody, dark smell, dark coffee, dark chocolate, and a little bit of spice, yes? Let's tr try it. This one is a solid chocolate, there's no filling in it, a cho solid chocolate bar. Starts off like any high cocoa count chocolate. Bitter! It's nothing bad of being bitter if you're a chocolate. We don't, it has these tendencies of a, a little bit of soapy feel, a little bit of sticky. Still, it's uh, bitter, a little bit of tart. It's like you actually put some really dark brown dirt in your mouth. It's dry. You get some. Coffee grinds in the flavor, dark chocolate naturally again, but coffee grinds, dark chocolate, a bit of dirt, soil, a little bit of tobacco actually, dried tobacco leaves. It's almost like a red wine with a little bit too much of bitter taste. A dry sensation ends it at a solid 85% cocoa chocolate. Yes, I would give this one a 5 because I, it's, it's a little bit of uh, that bitterness is from start to end, it's there and it's not that comfortable. Uh, I have other chocolates at a high cocoa count that have sort of a comfortable bitterness to it, with ling uh, with, which mixes more with uh, uh, the other flavors. And this didn't mix uh, actually. And the coffee and the chocolate flavor and the dirt is beneath the bitterness. It should be the other way around. The bitterness should be some sort of base, and then you got layers on top of that. But Nice piece of chocolate, didn't cost me a dollar or something like that. Uh, it's a five, uh, the other one was a two, and that's all for today, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!